melting curve analysis is an assessment of the dissociation characteristics of double-stranded DNA during heating. As the temperature is raised, the double strand begins to dissociate leading to a rise in the absorbance intensity, hypertromicity. The temperature at which 50% of DNA is denatured is known as the melting point, though it is an inaccurate term as it has very little to do with a traditional melting point. The information gathered can be used to infer the presence and identity of single nucleotide polymorphisms. This is because GC base pairing have three hydrogen bonds between them while AT base pairs have only two. DNA with a higher GC content, whether because of its source 0.00 or, as previously mentioned, because of SNPs, will have a higher melting temperature than DNA with a higher AT content. The information also gives vital clues to a molecule's mode of interaction with DNA. Molecules such as intercalators slot in between base pairs and interact through pi stacking. This has a stabilizing effect on DNA structure which leads to a raise in its melting temperature. Likewise, increasing salt concentrations helps diffuse negative repulsions between the phosphates in the DNA's backbone. This also leads to a rise in the DNA's melting temperature. Conversely, pH can have a negative effect on DNA's stability which may lead to a lowering of its melting temperature. Implementation The energy required to break the base-base hydrogen bonding between two strands of DNA is dependent on their length, GC content and their complementarity. By heating a reaction mixture that contains double-stranded DNA sequences and measuring dissociation against temperature, these attributes can be inferred. Originally. Strand association was observed using UV absorbance measurements, but techniques based on fluorescence measurements are now the most common approach. The temperature-dependent dissociation between two DNA strands can be measured using a DNA intercalating fluorophore such as SYBR green, EVA green or fluorophore labeled DNA probes. In the case of SYBR green, the dissociation of the DNA during heating is measurable by the large reduction in fluorescence that results. Alternatively, juxtaposition probes can be used to determine the complementarity of the probe to the target sequence. The graph of the negative first derivative of the melting curve may make it easier to pinpoint the temperature of dissociation, by virtue of the peaks thus formed. SYBR Green enabled product differentiation in the light cycler in 1997. Hybridization probes were also demonstrated to provide very specific melting curves from the single-stranded probe to amplicon hybrid. Idaho Technology and Roche have done much to popularize this use on the light cycler instrument. Applications Since the late 1990s product analysis via SYBR Green, other double-strand specific dyes, or probe-based melting curve analysis has become nearly ubiquitous. The probe-based technique is sensitive enough to detect single nucleotide polymorphisms and can distinguish between homozygous will type, heterozygous and homozygous mutant alleles by virtue of the dissociation patterns produced. Without probes, amplicon melting was not generally successful at finding single base variants through melting profiles. With higher resolution instruments and advanced dyes. Amplicon melting analysis of one base variants is now possible with several commercially available instruments. For example, Applied Biosystem 7500 Fast System and the 7900 HT Fast Real-Time PCR System, Idaho Technologies Light Scanner, Kyagen's Rotogene Instruments, and Roche's Light Cycler 480 Instruments. Many research and clinical examples exist in the literature that show the use of melting curve analysis to obviate or complement sequencing efforts, and thus reduce costs. While most quantitative PCR machines have the option of melting curve generation and analysis, the level of analysis and software support varies. High-resolution melt is the advancement of this general technology and has begun to offer higher sensitivity for SNP detection within an entire dye-stained amplicon. It is less expensive and simpler in design to develop probeless melting curve systems. However, for genotyping applications, where large volumes of samples must be processed, the cost of development may be less important than the total throughput and ease of interpretation, thus favoring probe-based genotyping methods. See also, high-resolution melt analysis.
microscale the morphoresis, a method to determine the stability, the length, the conformation and the modifications of DNA and RNA, nucleic acid thermodynamics. References External links, Riri, K. M. Rasmussen, R. P. Witter, C. T. Product differentiation by analysis of DNA melting curves during the polymerase chain reaction. Anal Biochem 245, 154 a Euro 160 DOI, 10.1006 slash ABIO. 1996.9916. PMID 9056205. Low, Fatigue CH The Moments, Melting Curve Analysis. Biotechniques. Retrieved October 21, 2014.